This is Chad with Sunhouse Project. Um, today we're going to talk about the battery bank that we've got in our house. Uh, about two years ago when we built our house, we ended up building on a flat lot. Um, there was areas on our property that we could have chosen to build with a basement, but just because of logistics and the cost associated with building a basement, we decided to build on a slab uh, on a slab floor plan uh, on a flat lot which hurt us when we were trying to decide where to do a shop or our power center for our uh, solar. So what we did, we ended up building a third bay to our garage. So now we've got an attached garage with a third bay and that is where we keep, uh, that's where I have my workshop. Uh, we've got a work table, I've, I keep my, I've got a VW Volkswagen Beetle 1972. We keep that in here, uh, all my tools, everything, as well as our power center and our battery bank. Uh, so we've got a, it's a, just one bay of a garage. And today uh, I'm gonna go through and show you our, uh, our battery bank that we've got. And here we go. Okay, here we are. Uh, as you can see, we've got the battery bank uh, sitting right here. So let me flip this camera around so you can see uh, the battery bank a little bit better. Uh, what we've done, took and built a battery box. Here you can see it is about four feet wide, 10, 11 feet long. Uh, it's got swinging doors on it. Uh, we'll put uh, two swinging doors, put one on this section, and we've got another one on that section. You can see I've got them propped up. Uh, see, I went in, once I was, you can see the plywood. I bought a, a pond liner, this black pond liner here. It is it's, it's a real heavy, heavy uh, gauge, uh, a real heavy mill liner there. Uh, we got everything built up. I got two by sixes in the back. You can see the two by sixes going up. Uh, plywood in the back. On this side, we've got the two by fours going up and down. And the two by fours also go up and down in the front. We, we caulked each corner to keep all the hydrogen from escaping out. Uh, we have the weather stripping that comes down each, uh, each edge. It goes across. We have hooks that, that latch each you know, hasp that, hook, that, that latch the whole thing, the whole system down together. You can see I've got uh, holes that drilled on the bottom that allows the airflow to come through. Over on the far corner here, uh, you can't see it because the door is up, but we have a vent. That is a vent. Uh, batteries do produce hydrogen as they start to top off. As they, as they start getting uh, full on their charge, they start producing hydrogen. So this battery box is sealed. But they do produce, uh, the batteries do produce hydrogen as they top off and it is recommended to have a, a vent. So that vent comes out of the top. Uh, I'm not gonna get down too close to the batteries, but you can see where the vent goes up underneath the top lip of the battery box. All right. All right, so here's the battery box with both the doors shut. Uh, you can see the, the vent pipe that goes up and across and goes up and out the top of the room, outside to the outside of the house. So, you know, you can see where it's teed in across there, from across the top where it goes up. So, anyway, that's the battery box. All right, a little bit about my batteries. These are the Rolls, I guess, Surette, Surette. I'm not sure how you say that. I've had a couple of different people tell me a couple of different things. 
These are the rolls. They're S550s. They are all six volt batteries. Uh, they're deep cycle. They're the uh, 4000 series, uh, 420 amp hours. Uh, I want to show you a little bit about them. We've got what we have. We've got three strings here. There's six volt batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, this string here is uh, six volts, eight batteries for 48 volts, 420 amp hours. 428 amp hours. Uh, we've got the second string, which is exactly the same thing. Uh, eight batteries, six volts for 48 volts. Now this one here, same thing. Six volt batteries, eight different eight different batteries. That gives us a total of 48 volts on there. So 428 amp hours per string of batteries for a total of 1,284, I believe is the right number on that. So we, uh, our whole system is set up on the 1,284 amp hours. So when we go into charging, um, our percentages show uh, is all based on the 1,200 and actually 1,280 is the way we've got it set up. Uh, you can see we've got these running series. Uh, we've got the, uh, we go from the positive, uh, negative to positive, negative to positive, negative to positive, all the way down. And then we run each string, connect them positive to positive, positive to positive, positive, you know, just like that. So, um, there's a lot of information out there on batteries and systems, uh, but I just wanted to showcase mine, uh, let you guys see what it looked like. Okay, uh, I want to show you a little bit about the wiring, uh, the way that it's wired in on the ends here. This one comes from the charge controller. And then we have one, two, three, four. They go out uh, to up to the inverters. Okay, and all these black cables here, we have four of those. And each one of them go out of the batteries off of the negative side and into the power center. But we have battery uh, temperature sensors on each, on each battery string. So it, uh, it does measure the temperature and we also have um, that shows up on our LED display that shows us that monitors the whole system so, so I just wanted to give you guys a, uh, a video tour of our batteries uh, I've got a lot more things I want to show you guys but I uh, was just trying to get started uh, showcasing all the things that and all the projects that we've done here at the Sun House all right, so anyway, guys, I just thank you for uh, letting me show you the batteries, uh, the battery box that we've got. Thanks for all that. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Uh, ask you to subscribe, uh, share it with all your friends, uh, and comment below. Thank you, guys. See you on the next video.